Good evening. A dramatic high-speed chase has ended with the wanted driver pulling a loaded gun on police at a freeway on-ramp. Perth grandparents were also caught up in the madness. Their car hit head-on by a stolen four-wheel drive. Nathan Brooks begins our coverage. Innocent motorists caught up in a criminal gang's run from the law. This grey BMW hit head-on between Karanup Road and Cedric Street by a stolen Toyota Kluger. Its front caved in, airbags release and the passenger, a 57-year-old grandmother, injured. It was just horrendous. Like, it was uh, raining, so you couldn't see very well. The uh, car came around a bit of a curve and we're coming up to the curve, so within one second the car's right on you and you've got nowhere to go to. Uh, you try and swerve and they tried to swerve but we both swerved the same way and it was just head on. Sinead and Roger Harris were on their way to go furniture shopping when the Kluger turned the wrong way down the freeway. I got a scratch on my knee. My wife unfortunately she's got neck and chest uh, injuries. She's probably broken some ribs or something. But um, we've survived, which is the most important thing. Allegedly at the wheel of the stolen car, a 33-year-old man. Inside, three women in their 20s, all four ran away from the crash. When the uh, suspects were, were chased on foot from the stolen Kluger, uh, it was an unknown uh, environment for the police officers so uh, when they challenged the male driver uh, I'm told he turned around and pointed that loaded firearm at them. Police were forced to draw their guns the alleged driver dropped his weapon and surrendered. To me it just looked like a um, um, like a, a pistol you know with the slide and that on it like you'd see like a nine millimeter or something like that. A guy just laying on the ground he had like blood all over his face. Cuffed and clearly in pain, he was lifted into a police paddy wagon. Those officers, um, you know, were, were put in a situation where uh, they were quite within their rights, perhaps to uh, discharge their police issue firearms, and they didn't do that. To their credit, um, this fellow's dropped the um, the firearm, and he was taken into custody without uh, without further incident. The alleged driver taken to hospital with cuts and chest injuries. Two 27-year-old women also hurt. One stretched to an ambulance in a head brace. It took paramedics roughly an hour to stabilise the person here on the side of the road before they could be taken to hospital. Police were looking for the stolen Kluger over an armed carjacking in Mirabuka. This Volkswagen stolen at gunpoint last night. The gang's run from the law captured on dash cam this morning. The chase began when the stolen car was spotted leaving a home in Midvale. It travelled through the intersection of West Swan Road and Great Northern Highway, then onto Nangara Road before travelling on Alexander Drive through Morley, finally causing the crash by travelling north in the southbound lanes. Police moving in within seconds. It was our number one priority today and thankfully we've taken them into custody uh, with, um, yes, some injuries, um, but um, at this stage no significant injuries, which we're very thankful for. The innocent Hillary's grandparents also thankful they've walked away from a head-on crash that could have been so much worse. I didn't even have time for my life to flash before me because it was they were there. I just sat there and couldn't believe that I was still alive. Nathan Brooks... Nine News. The Hillary's grandmother is being treated in Raw Perth Hospital tonight. Jacqueline Robson, you've got the latest on her condition. Michael, 57-year-old Sinead Harris is in a stable condition here at the RPH tonight. She did suffer neck and chest injuries. She's in a brace. Doctors have been conducting x-rays. There's concerns she may have broken ribs. Her husband, Roger Harris, remains by her side. He says she's OK, but she is in a lot of pain. Now, the 33-year-old driver of the white Toyota Kluger suffered a laceration and chest injuries. The two 27-year-old occupants were also treated for minor injuries. A 26-year-old was uninjured. Regardless, they'll all remain under a tight police guard tonight. Michael? Jackie, thank you for the update.